Dear Minecrafters, please use the game output. Hello, it is I, Red SC, and welcome back to another video, blah 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 tutorial, how to use the game output to diagnose problems in data packs and resource packs. The game output is one of the most useful tools in creating data packs and resource packs, but of course, you need to know how to turn it on. To turn on the output log, go to your Minecraft launcher, go down to the bottom left to settings, and then check the box that says open output log when Minecraft starts. Then you can go back to your Minecraft and start the game. The game output will open automatically. This is what the game output looks like. There are usually some warnings, but they are most likely not a problem. You can scroll down to see the latest output and you can clear all logs which makes it easier when you're trying to diagnose problems so you don't actually accidentally read an old error. Here's a simple test data pack that we are going to fill with errors. For science of course. I have one function here which I will just have run say hi whenever it is triggered. So I can save that and then I can do slash reload and then slash function test hi and it will say hi. If I go back to my test data pack and I accidentally add a slash in between the A and the Y and save it, I can reload and then try running function test hi and it will, will not come up. I can do test hi and it will say unknown function. If we check the game output, we can right away tell that something is wrong. There is this massive piece of red text. This is the error. There are a few things you have to know to be able to read the error and figure out what's wrong. First, at the top, the failed to load function test hi. That is the function that has the error. Next, second line, all the way at the end, it says Java Lang illegal argument exception while whilst parsing command on line one. So now we know which line the error is on. It says unknown or incomplete command. See below for error at position zero. Now we know what line and what position it's at. If we then go back to our atom, we can see that it's line one. Position zero is just the position of which argument in the command. So zero would be this entire piece here. It can be really helpful to paste the error command into your chat or a command block because it has high syntax highlighting so you can see exactly in color what the where the error is. Here is a resource pack with a beautiful oak plank block model. As you can see, it's right here. And it looks absolutely stunning. Now, this works perfectly. But say I accidentally just remove this one scale number and save it. Suddenly, my resource pack is loading, and when it's done, I don't have this majestic fox texture. I have this hideous pink and black checkerboard, and I don't want that, so I'm going to have to check the output log. This one is a little harder to spot, but if we scroll up, we can see this yellow bit here, which is a warning and it says unable to load model block oak planks. Then if we want to see exactly where the error is, we look at the bottom. It says malform JSON at line 24 column 21. And then the path is display third person right hand scale third person right hand scale 2. The scale the three numbers it starts at 0. 0 is the first number, 1 is the second and 2 is the third. If we actually go back to Adam, we can see on line 24, at the third scale bit, there's a missing number. It's so beautiful. 
Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe on Red SC. You can join my Discord server down below. You can also check out my Reddit and GitHub down below. I'm running out of things to say, so goodbye.